I'm gonna tell you, the first time I came in here, I fell through that hole. Yes, oh, I did. Oh no! I landed so. I, I I would not be surprised if when I get into the age to come, I'm told that I literally broke this bone and God healed it in that moment <laughs> because wow. I hit it so hard. Yeah. That was okay. Okay. Wow. This is a uh, good. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> quick PS. Quick PS. Okay. Quick dead post trip. Society. Yes, exactly. <laughs> dead oh yes, yeah, oh, you're right. Oh, yes. Yes. My captain. <laughs> <laughs> what was his so name? Uwanda. Uwanda. What's your yes, yes. What, what is the name of this cave? Tawanda. Okay, so I'm going to read a text. To me, this text in the Samson story is a sad one. There's almost a pathetic reality here. It says, then, 3,000 men from Judah. Remember, Jews today are Judahites. They're from that tribe. Um, went to the cave in the rock of Etam and said to Samson, so Samson's in the cave, I can't promise you is this one. <laughs> Might have been. <laughs> and he said to Samson, don't you realize the Phil Philistines are rulers over us? What have you done to us? He answered, I merely did to them what they did to me. They said to him, pretty much, you're killing us. You're killing our... So they said, these, these are brothers talking to him. They said to him, we've come to tie you up and hand you over to the Philistines. Mm. Samson said, you can do that, but swear to me that you won't kill me yourselves. Agreed, they answered. We'll only tie you up and hand you over to them. We'll not kill you. So they bound him and with two no ropes, led him up from the rock. And as he approached, Lehi, the Philistines came toward him shouting, the Spirit of the Lord, and then the Spirit of the Lord powerfully came upon him, and the ropes of his arms became like charred flax. And there was a little battle that ensued, and Samson took him out. But um, this to me is sad on the level that one, Samson's alone, and two, his brothers literally. Mm -hmm. had, had to be, yeah, exactly. Um, we can't do it alone. I can't, you can't, we can't do this following Christ alone. We need each other. I need you. We need each other. The church is at its best. Actually, the church is at its best, historically, when we're underground, when the world is persecuting us and wanting to hurt us and taking away our religious freedoms. Right now, there are Christians who don't get to build church buildings. Right now, that have to meet in places like this, underground. So what are we doing here? I, <clears throat> I want us right now to just know if we ever have to go underground, mm -hmm. it's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. And we will thrive because we have a God of the impossible mm -hmm. who has us in the palm of his hand, and we have each other. And when we have to go underground, that's when we really will have each other because we really need each other. And right now, we live the Greek way. Everybody's on an island to themselves, proving that they got it, showing off the life that they want people to see, but that's not the way God designed it. Now another reason I brought you here is because this is an ideal place in the ancient <coughs> world to build a house. Why? Now you have a basement. This would be the basement. 
where the animals would be stored. And again, when it's cold, that warmth from the animals moves up. Um, it's just ideal. If you want to know the setting that the God of the impossible came to this world and became a human being. It was in a stinky, smelly cave like this. Ponder. The one who spoke the galaxies into existence, the psalmist says he knows every star by name. came to be. <clears throat> Gave up all that power, all that glory. You want to know how much God loves barren? You want to know how much he loves weak? You want to know how much he loves small? He became it. He became barren. He became weak. He became small. This is the best place that I can bring you in Israel to give you a flavor of the setting so you can yada, know by experience the setting which Christ was born. Okay, let's go. Lunchtime.